So let me introduce you to the kit that I'll be using today. Um, I made this kit myself. I will put this in the shop. When you see this is already be in the shop, I've already gotten the pictures taken. Um, of course, they'll be better, of course. Um, well, this is mine. I ran out of premium paper when I made this kit. And this is on the, let me make sure this is the right side. Yeah, this was made on the regular mat, removable mat. But I'll be offering on the premium mat. And this is for the B6, and it's basically like one page. And then for the Erin Condren, you get six pages. Um, you have your monthly header. Again, this is now this was printed on the premium paper. So you get October expenses, weekly uh, check-in, and income. Now, I made these to fit my needs. Uh, when I do put it in my Etsy shop, I will, you know, make sure that there's some way that you can maybe send me a message if there's something special you want me to add. And then here's Columbus Day, Halloween, and here are the little boxes for the empty spaces. We have a dollar sign here, little notes, little icons here, and little special little header boxes here. And then we have go one, two, three, week one, two, three, four, five, and then we have our build due stickers and they are foil. And let's see. I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, okay. Because I'm making another kit for my B6 monthly. And I was looking at this like, how did I get this like this? So anyway, um, here is your date uh, covers, your date dots, and some little boxes here. And then here is all of your other things, your totals. For me, it's mainly totals, expenses, total expenses, total income. And then another box here. So, this is for the Erin Condren. And this is just a side note. When I go to put this in my Erin Condren, when I first started like working on this kit, I had pretty much foiled this. And I just you know, wanted to see what it looked like. So, you'll see some half a dates in the, my Erin Condren. Um, you'll see the Halloween date. You'll see some of this. So I may recover them up because this foiling came out better. So basically, all that I'm saying is um, just look out for that. So let's get into my B6. And I will start and I'll probably fast forward through it. And then at the end, we'll come back and budget together. Okay, you guys, so I'm done with the B6. How quick was that? So I was realizing I got a lot of space over here for like my income. But what I do in my Erin Condren is I write down what I've been doing lately. I'll say I'll write down what is due weekly. That's how I originally used to do my budget. Each week I'd write down what was due, let's say 
Monday through Saturday. And I will write down what was due. So that's what I'm going to probably use this space for. But I use one of the end of the boxes here. And then over here is my weekly check-in. And I double check my Erin Condren. There are five weeks in October. And I didn't print a week five. So if that's something I need to do is print a week five before I put those out. So there will be a week five. And then over here is expenses. And this is my total expenses. I'll write those here and then total them up. And then my weekly expenses, I believe that's what I made this for. That'll, that's what I was going to put here, but now this is where they'll go. So I don't know what I'm going to do with all this space. I may do cash envelopes, and I think that's what I'm going to do. I have an extra um, thing here. I can make this cash envelopes or... Um, you know, if my nail looks crooked, <laughs> it broke off and I glued it back on crooked, so, okay? And it's not necessarily time for me to do them. So, let me find my pen. So, I think I'll do, I'll make this cash envelopes. And then, and see, these empty ones will be in here. Um, well, they're, like I said, I made this one pretty much for me, and then this one I may make, um, sinking funds. So that's what I'll do. And, um, again, this kit is really made for me. I had to make it functional for me, because last time I got a little, um, uh, not disappointed or whatever. I was trying to make it to like sell and that's something I have learned from therapy. Everything just can't be for sale. Okay, your sheet everything can't be for sale. So I was getting frustrated trying to make it, you know, for everybody and what they're used to buying. So I just had to make it work for me so I can get back on track. So nonetheless, this is what it looks like. So this is the October kit for my B6. And this is using a notes um, insert from the 1407 planner. I love the paper that they're printing on. So I'm going to put that back. And if you would like to see a... Um, now, I've taken the pictures and what have you. But if you'd like to see that in the shop, <clears throat> the budget kit in the shop, let me know. I think this is connected to one of these. Hold on, let me find it. It's connected to this one. So I'll put it in there, but I've taken the pictures for it, and it possibly can be used in the Erin Condren Petite Planner. I have a Petite Planner on the way, so I'll see if these fit, and if not, I'll make them for that, and then I'll sell them for the Erin Condren Petite. Okay, on to the Erin Condren, you guys. This is what I'm mainly planning. This is my big planner, so my big budget planner. Let me move this small stuff out the way. And as you can see, I've already added stuff. I was just so excited that some things came out the way that they did. So I've already done it. And I did this in silver. But the silver foil that I got doesn't... Um, let me see if I can get this up. Oh, I got some undo today. I forgot all about that.
so I'm finished. Um, I don't know. I've been a little long-winded. had a little issue with the undo, but I figured it out. So this is what my October monthly kit is looking like, and I am digging it. I think it needs a little later or something, but it's so much going on. So pretty. Oh, I love it. So let me zoom out just a wee bit for you guys. Let me know what you think. What do you think? Isn't it pretty? So we're going to go through really quickly. We have our income budgeted, total income, weekly check-in, expenses, item description, amount, and date. This will be for either my cash envelopes or sinking funds, and that's it. So if you all want to see me do my budget, I mean, let's, let's just go ahead and do the expenses, all right? Okay, I got to whip out my other one real quick. I'm going to be quick because I've been so long-winded with um, fast-forwarding everything. So, let's get to it. So, I decided to how to keep my income until I'm done with the IRS for the moment is we'll just do um, expenses. So, the first expense is car note number one. And that is 181.60. My car note doesn't really change. Car note number two, 181.60. And then next up is car insurance. My dog wants to go out. Now they've gone up. Um, I don't know if it's because I did a claim when we had that little flood. It didn't even need a flood. I got a little tow. And that was about 2.30 in the month of August. So next up is Amazon. Y'all, I know y'all going to be like, girl, every month you do your budget, you've added something. So I have another new credit card. Um, this is $12.99. Um, I need to go ahead and put that in, which is Citibank. I don't know how much my minimum is going to be. So for right now, I'm just going to leave that blank, but I got to do that Capital One. I want to pay my Capital One off because um, I'm going to give them, I want to give them a hundred in October uh, because the holidays are coming just in case of an emergency. I'm put Apple down and that is 99 cents. I don't even know why I'm still paying that. Um, Aflac. So there are five weeks. When it's five weeks, I think I pay an extra $12. So that would be $42, at least what I'm budgeting for. Um, my Schedulicity, which is my online um, booking app. Wait a minute. I almost forgot how to spell it. And that's $20. That never changes. Now with the gym. Oh my goodness. Last month... Something else came out of my account, and I have a bill paying account, but I have another account that little things like this come out in case I can just ever shut it down. Little stuff when they, you know, get little issues. Anyhow, um, it was off by a penny, a couple, couple cents, and they did not get their money. My bank didn't pay it. Um, do you know they came back, and I don't know if they got a late payment of twenty nine ninety nine. That didn't go through, so I don't know if I'm going to have to pay a double. I'm going to have to go to them directly and um, just pay it. Oh, card note number two, basically, I say loan number one, that is $100. It's really kind of like a card loan, but it's really just a personal loan. Sale bill, T-Mobile. I love T-Mobile because they work with me because I forget my sale bill. Um, to my understanding, it should be $291. We plan to pay off our watches, um, some phones and stuff, so it should come down a little bit. Um, my booth rent, since there is, I think it's $1,050 when there is five weeks in the month of October. Um, Wayfair, I don't even know if I'm going to have a Wayfair bill. I just sent them some money. Um, I'm going to guesstimate for them. I'm just going to go ahead and give them... I'm going to put 100 but I don't think I owe that much. Because what I bought was only $140, which was my office chair. 
and Simply Gilded. Um, I think October, which will be probably the November or the September box, I will probably be my last box. This last one I didn't even really open until like a couple of weeks later and I only get it because of the pen. So I love these rolling ball pens so that's one reason I get it. And Malone number two which is Navy Federal Credit Union. That's also, it's $92, $91 but I, I pay 100 on it. So that so far is everything. Did I do Capital One? Oh, I charged something. I got Victoria's Secrets, but they'll probably, I may not have them because what I charge, I'm just going to pay them off if the bill comes before then. I only charge like $65. I haven't used that credit card. I kind of saved it for Christmas, but I wanted to use it before Christmas to, um, so they won't. Because the last time I had one, I got up to the black card, and every time I got something, I paid it off, and then I just stopped using it, and then they closed it, and then I couldn't get my card back for a while. So, anywho, this is what we have, and I want to start, I'm going to do cash envelopes on this side, um, because Christmas is coming, so I'm going to put Christmas here, um, presents, and I want to start putting some money away, so for the month of October, I know that ain't a whole lot, what I'm doing. Um, what else? Car, um, repairs, because I have a repair bill coming up by the next time I need an oil change, which is $500. So I'm going to put 50 towards that. And just savings, pretty much. Um, I'm going to start with 25 and that's basically weekly. And I have it broken down in my other little budget I did, but this is it, you guys. Um, I'll come back in and add more stuff. I just don't want to hold it. I want to thank you all for sticking around with me and um, watching me put my kid into my Erin Condren and my B6. So we'll just backtrack really quickly. Y'all, that undo stuff is strong. It's giving me a headache. Oh, my gosh. So, anywho, this is October budget in my B6. This is what it looks like. Here we go. Expenses. Let me back up. This is it. It says October, basically, which is income. It just should say income here. I need to fix that maybe. Um, and then my total income, and I got cash envelope sinking funds, weekly check in, week one, two, three, four, and then this is for week five. Expenses, weekly expenses, total expenses, and then I got an extra little bar here at the bottom. So that's that. I love this though. I don't know what I'm going to do when I get my little Erin Condren. I don't know. I really like my B6. But anywho, so then for my Erin Condren, this is the um, monthly layout. It has all my bills. I'll go in and write my bills. Um, also, I have some little total boxes that I use. I like to put in what I make for the week in there. And then, um, move this piece of book. I can see it. Income, weekly check-in. Week one through five, and I remember week five in my Aaron country. I don't know why. And then my expenses, and we've gone through and did the budget. Oh, we didn't total. Sorry, y'all. Cash envelopes. Let's total. Okay, you guys. So I have my calculator. Y'all, I'm sweating bullets down here. Let's see what we got. One eighty-one sixty plus. Y'all forgive me because I haven't done. A video in so long, I forgot the protocol. You know what I mean? Two thirty plus uh, twelve ninety nine plus one hundred plus ninety nine cent plus forty two plus twenty plus twenty plus five plus one hundred plus. 291 plus 1050 plus 100 plus 29 plus 100 plus 65. Ooh, going up there now. $2,529.18. That's what I basically have to pay out 
mandatory no way around it everything else is like my groceries and things like that and that's like kind of a separate budget and if you would like to see how I budget for my other expenses as far as products grocery um, and well insurance is included um, things like that just let me know and we can just do a whole separate budget and I can combine the two and just leave them separate like leave my expenses and all that stuff separate okay all right thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye